And now, entering the arena, please welcome the seven-figure giver, the beast from the east, and Eason Gibb. And Eason Gibb has talked about feeling nerves, but them going away during this walk, hearing his music, and two amateur bouts, one on the undercard of Logan Paul KSI. One defeated fellow influencer Joey Swingler. He admitted that he would have nerves here tonight, but anticipated they go away at about this moment. My time! And you see Anissa Gibb certainly does not lack energy. One of the more animated ring walks you will see. His trainer, Vidal Riley, a pro cruiserweight, who trained KSI for his victory over Logan Paul. Entering the arena, please welcome the problem child, Jay. As you can hear, it is a Jake Paul friendly crowd here in Miami. Paul, the most viewed internet star in the U.S., has more than 36 million followers across YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. and is milking this entrance. Jake Paul, nearly 20 million YouTube followers. He has said he knows he is going to win this fight, but he has trained as if he is facing the best fighter in the world, not taking anything for granted. Has said this battle has become personal. After Anise and Gibb called Jake Paul's mother a snake for videotaping Anise and Gibb, who was working out at the hotel gym. Paul did not take kindly to those words from Gibb. Ladies and gentlemen, from Miami Beach, Florida, USA, 
live on the zone, Sky Sports and Fight TV. We are set to go with the co-featured bout of the evening. Six rounds of boxing scheduled in the cruiserweight division. It's all being brought to you courtesy of Mr. Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing USA. We are sponsored by JD Sports. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest from ringside. From Nevada, Lisa Jampa. From Florida, John Rupert. And from Puerto Rico, Nelson Vasquez. At the sound of the belt, your third man in the ring from Florida, referee Christopher Young. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the four corners of the world to the four corners of this ring right here in Miami Beach, Florida. The fight starts now! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, standing with his head trainer, Vidal Riley. He wears the red with yellow trim. He scaled 188 pounds even. He is a YouTube star, undefeated in his amateur career, and tonight he makes his professional debut. Hailing from Saudi Arabia and representing the United Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen, here is the seven-figure killer, the beast from the East, and Esau what time is, it's purple time. And his opponent across the ring, standing with his head trainer, three division multi-time world champion, Sugar Shane Mosley. He wears the brown camouflage. He scaled 191.8 pounds. Tonight, he also makes his professional debut. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the American YouTube sensation, internet personality, actor, and musician. Originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and fighting out of Big Bear Lake, California, introducing the problem child, Jake Paul! Paul! KSI in the building to watch and cheer on Madison Gibb. Ryan Rucco, Radio Raheem, and Devin Haney, the WBC lightweight champion in recess, all here to call this fight between Jake Paul and Anison Gibb. You know, I got to say, the ring walk that both of these guys did lets us know that they at least have taken something from the professionals. They <laughs> both have a hell of a ring walk style. They definitely have the ring walk down. <laughs> you would never think it was their professional Watch debut. Head. Watch no all professionals. So let's fight like it. Oh, yeah. up. Devin, you're known for some pretty interesting outfits when you're making your ring walk, so. Yeah, he, uh, he seemed to beat me to the Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> I did Gucci, but I was on my way to Louis Vuitton, but he beat me to it. I gotta do something like Fendi or something next. Jake Paul has seemed very confident in his ability to knock out an Eason Gibb. Gibb, in his amateur fights we have seen, has an incredibly unorthodox style, obviously. Not trained as a professional oh. boxer. And you could see immediately just diving in to Paul. He's put out of pressure on for the first second. I knew he would. That's the way to do it. Go out there and let him know that you're here to fight and you're not afraid. He seems like he has some head movement with it as well. Crouching in a very unorthodox fashion. Looks like that was an early headbutt. Jake Paul training at Big Bear, isolated with Shane Mosley. Feeling like his brother Logan in L.A. was a bit distracted in his training for KSI. Good job from Jack. That's what he needs to do. If he, if he wants to take control of the fight, he needs to start with the jab. As in any fight, but especially with debuters, whoever lands the first clean, hard shot, that's the guy that tends to take control of the fight early. Yes, you got to earn respect. Is. You have to earn that respect. Gibb nearly losing his footing there. I mean, you can just see how incredibly 
unique the style is from Gibb. Crouching wildly. Oh. And that is going to be a knockdown. It was a flash knockdown, but he looks kind of hurt to me. You don't want to go rushing in there without throwing punches. Being in his face isn't enough. you got to be active. We'll see if Paul can end this quickly. Remember, this is about revenge for Jake Paul. I like how he went back to the jab, even after he had him hurt. He wants a shot at KSI. He only gets it if he takes care of Gibb. That's another knockdown. Anise and Gibb having all kinds of trouble staying on his feet. Gibb he, needs to move his head on his way in. Devin, how does Paul finish him here? Go back to the jab, stay relaxed, don't try to rush it. That was a good jab. He needs to stay on a jab. He's hurting him with just a jab. Yeah, he really is. That jab is backing up Anise and Gibb. Once you, once you start landing, finding a home with the jab, the combination will follow right after. Jake is staying very calm. He knows exactly what he wants to do in there. He's working behind the jab. Oh, big right hand that lands. He's hurt. Gibb is hurt. And oh. now he's down again. And that is it. Jake Paul with a first round destruction of an Eason Gibb. He definitely made a statement with that performance. An emphatic first round knockout victory as KSI looks on concerned knowing that he very well may be next. And that's exactly what Jake Paul is calling for, shouting to KSI in the crowd. Jake Paul said he had the boxing bug. Well, man, that's the bug. He's got the flu now. He'll, <laughs> he'll never cure the bug after this. I'm most impressed with how he used his jab. Even when he had him hurt, he went back to the jab, and that's very important. Just totally outclassing Anise and Gibb in that first round, Devin. Yes, yes, he definitely did. It's an interesting point you bring up, though, because especially with somebody who doesn't have the experience, you can see them get outside themselves when they smell blood. But Jake was able to stay very much within his game plan with that jab. Yes. I'm actually impressed. I mean, I didn't expect that. He went in there, he used a jab, he used some combinations, and when he got him hurt, he didn't just go for the kill. How distracting can it be for a fighter when you're going up against someone whose style was as wild as Gibbs was? Yes, that's what I was really wanting to see, how he was going to deal with the pressure, how he was going to deal with somebody coming at him so unorthodox as Gibbs, and he handled it well. Take a look at the replays of what was a three knockdown first round, courtesy of Jake Paul. Anissa Gibb being put down, and then that left hand sent him down again. And Devin, finally, Jake Paul finished it off. Beautiful right hook. That was a beautiful right hook. And Jake Paul actually told us yesterday, Devin, that he thought it would be the check hook that would end the night. He was throwing him. Sent him down with the right hand. I'm very much impressed. Paul talked about loving the feeling of being back in competitive sports grew up wanting to play in the nfl was a wrestler said this really brings him back to his roots and shane mosley talked about him having that athletic mentality yes and that was the difference in this fight give you know, he, he um he never had any uh he never, he never played any sports he never had uh, this was the first athletic thing that he really done and uh it showed. This make you excited to see a Jake Paul KSI fight? Yeah, I'm actually excited. You know, uh, through all this build up, it, it got me intrigued in the fight. I want to see it happen. Jake Paul has stated, look, my brother will tell you publicly, I, Jake, am the better fighter. So I absolutely believe I will take care of KSI. It was Logan Paul who lost a split decision against KSI with a controversial two-point deduction. 
And I would think at some point in the near future, we will see Jake Paul look to officially avenge the loss his brother suffered to KSI. He went in there, he, he stayed relaxed, he used the jab. We didn't see too many body shots, but he looked good to me. Looked good and took care of Anise and Gibb very quickly as we get the particulars from David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Christopher Young calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 18 seconds of round number one. Your winner by TKO, the problem child, Jake Paul. Jake Paul the most viewed internet star in the United States, wins this battle authoritatively over Anis and Gibb. And Radio Raheem is with Jake Paul, Jake the winner. Paul, you are now an undefeated 1-0 professional fighter with one knockout. You talked about having a boxing bug. How do you feel at this moment oh, about man. that bug? Oh man, that was lit. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> just take a moment and soak it in. Uh, man, I caught the boxing bug. I put the work in and uh, I'm, I'm in love with this sport. My power, my speed took him out in the first round. But uh, hey, you showed a lot of patience in there. You worked behind the jab. You look like a fighter who trained and was a professional. What was your greatest weapon in there tonight that got the victory for you early? Yeah, uh, I dedicated the past five months of my life to this. Up in Big Bear, California with Shane Mosley, working my balls off two a days, sacrificed everything. I, I like, shh, cause like, y'all, y'all said that this was my best competitor. He's undefeated. He's 2-0. He got, he's got energy. He's got stamina. He's the beast from the Middle East. And I silenced him in two rounds. I didn't even get to show, or one round. I didn't even get to showcase my real boxing ability, but it was all just natural instinct uh, in there as soon as we started, so. Well, we can see here that Gibb was game. He was in your face for those two and a half minutes, every second of them. You. We're able to put him down early. Can you talk to me about the first knockdown? Did you feel it? Did you know that that shot was going to put him down? Yeah, no, I think I, I think the first knockdown was with a jab. So one thing in camp, we worked on is really, really stiff jabs. So my jab has that right hand power behind it. Man, I, I don't even know what to say right now. Shit. <laughs> this, is, this is surreal. We're, we're taking a look at the first knockdown here. Yeah, I caught him right on the temple. The 10 ounce gloves, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> that shit knocked someone out. <laughs> At that moment, did you feel like the power that you came into the ring with here tonight was gonna be able to get this job done within three minutes? Yeah, no, 100%, Shane, Shane, my coach Shane was like, I think it's going in one, I think it's going in one. And yesterday, uh, I was with my friend Lucas Mack, who's been an amazing help through this camp and we visualize every single day for two months and we started visualizing the first round knockout and it happened. I want to thank everyone on my team who, who has been in this camp with me. Armani, there from day one. That's my guy, I love you bro. BJ Flores, Blue for filming everything. My sparring partners, Alex. Alex fights exactly like Gib. Uh, I know I'm forgetting people, Carl. Blue filming everything, Geo. I appreciate you guys always being there. Well, let's not forget Logan. Yeah, Logan. <laughs> you fought tonight a guy who you had a beef with, but you fought with a kind of fervor and determination and passion that lets me know revenge is on your heart and in your mind, uh, that, that you're looking towards something. Talk to me about what you have to do next. KSI is next. Where, where's that pussy at? 
KSI is gonna get clocked next. I didn't have to win. I didn't have to win by two points. I'm here. I'm going to fuck you I didn't have to fucking win by two points. Yeah, yeah, that's what you said. You said Gibb was gonna fuck me up too, didn't you? Shut the fuck up. Just wait, just wait. Little guy. I fought your fucking bro, didn't I? Yeah, you see your best friend on his planted on his ass over there? You're worse than your bro. Yeah, yeah. And you had to be my You had to be my bro by a bad call. Look at that. You're bleeding. You're bleeding. You had to be my bro by a bad call. It wasn't bad call. I lost two points as well, bitch. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm A side. Yeah. You, you, you're A side. Nigga, get the fuck out. What the fuck? A side. No, 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 bro. <laughs> Logan, this is all about you in the moment. Your brother feels like he needs to avenge your loss, but he needs to redeem the Paul name. Is that something? That's on your heart and in your mind. Does he need to do that for you? I, th I think Jake proved tonight that today tonight was all about him. This has nothing to do with me, and it's I, hella noble that he wants to redeem the Paul name, but I think he's doing an amazing job. Jake is his own person, and tonight he proved that. When you took the loss against KSI, it brought your brother to tears. He said in that moment that he would have ringed that loss. He went through this camp. He knocked out Gibb in the first round in two and a half minutes and it looks like he's determined, he's on this train. Will you back him on this mission? Absolutely. Whatever my brother needs, I got him. I know he's more than capable of beating KSI. It's gonna be an exciting fight, that's what the people want. I wanna make it happen, Dazon, make it happen. Switching lanes and